The effort to recall Governor Newsom is now going to head to the ballot. This afternoon, the California Secretary of State's office confirmed that more than 1.6 million signatures on recall petitions were verified. And tonight, Fox 5's Ashley Zavala has a look at exactly what happens next. It's been a long haul. Organizers of the effort to recall Governor Gavin Newsom officially gathered enough petition signatures for the issue to head to voters later this year. The Secretary of State's office confirmed 1.626 million signatures have been verified, which recall supporters like Ann Dunsmore expected. I'm pretty pleased with where we're at. It's exactly what I predicted would happen. We've been pulling together our infrastructure that we need to put in place moving forward. Um, we have a very good plan. Newsom's anti-recall campaign released a statement Monday saying, quote, this election will be about two different visions for California. The Republican recall, backed by partisan pro-Trump and far-right forces, threatens our values as Californians and seeks to undo the important progress we've made under Governor Newsom. Fighting COVID, supporting families who are struggling, protecting our environment, common sense gun safety laws, there's simply too much at stake. We will win. <laughs> The effort has drawn a range of Republicans vying for the office, including LGBTQ reality star Caitlyn Jenner, former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, and 2018 gubernatorial candidate John Cox. The Secretary of State says counties still have until Thursday to finish verifying signatures. The recall election date could be set any time between August and December of this year. Some elections officials saying it could cost up to $400 million. All right, well, uh, Ashley just mentioned him, former San Diego mayor, Republican candidate for governor, Kevin Faulkner. He responded today to this news saying Californians from all walks of life are seizing this historic opportunity to demand change. Democrats, Republicans and independents are coming together to support this recall and get our state back on track.